If you don't clean this mess up, Murphy's gonna move into your spare bedroom and bring his three best friends broke, desperate, and stupid. Are you tired of creditors and debt collectors calling and harassing you, trying to figure out where you work so they can garnish your wages and take your paycheck out from underneath your feet? Or you can actually make your minimum payments on your debt, but you're just tired of giving all your money away to other people at the end of the month and not gaining any traction financially. In this video, I'm going to show you how to organize a foundation to get your finances in order, tweak your income and expenses to make the fastest progress possible, and how to deal with those pester debt collectors that want you to give them all your money. Manifest Thanks so much for joining me today. Welcome to Manifest Mitchell, and if you're new to my channel, I make videos all about crushing your goals, creating your dream life through financial independence, and of course, giving back to make the world a better place. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and crush that like button. Let's dive into the video. The most important step in getting out of debt is figuring out your reasons why you want to do this in the first place. Maybe it's the well-being of your children, spouse, or family. Maybe it's so that you can have the financial freedom to build wealth and take that dream vacation that you've always wanted worry-free by paying for it in cash. Or maybe you're just sick and tired of people being up your ass because you owe them money. Whatever your reasons are, or your family's reasons are, make sure that they're big enough to motivate you to work hard and sacrifice in order to become debt free. Step number two is to build a written budget. The first part of your budget is to budget your basic needs first. Dave Ramsey calls your basic needs the four walls. And I'm going to reference him a few times in this video because he has some great tips on how to get out of debt and build wealth. You really better start cleaning up this mess so or you're gonna be broke the rest of your life. The four walls are food, utilities, shelter slash clothing, and transportation. What you wanna do is before you pay anybody anything, make sure you have food first, then pay for your lights and water, then your rent or mortgage payment, and finally, gas in your car and your car payment. Once you're current on all of your basic needs, make minimum payments on everything else. For a video about how to build a fully finished, in-depth budget, I'll link a video in the description for a video I've made previously. Step number three to getting out of debt is to cut your expenses. When you're in debt, you really shouldn't be spending much on anything else besides your basic needs. You're gonna be on beans and rice, rice and beans because you want to put as much of your income to work paying off debt as possible so that you don't have to spend more time than you need in this kind of hyper-saving pay-off debt mode. This is a tough part for a lot of people. The knowledge about getting out of debt is pretty simple, but the behavior part is really what's the most challenging. Whenever you have a hard time saying no to going out on the town with your friends or buying that new thing off Amazon, go back to your reasons why you're doing this in the first place. And for a more in-depth video about cutting your expenses, check out the link in the description for another video I've made. Step number four to becoming debt-free is to increase your income. There are literally endless ways to do this. Ask for overtime or extra hours at work. Start driving Uber or delivering pizzas or waiting tables part-time. You better not see the inside of a restaurant unless you're working there. You can make 15 to 20, even 30 bucks an hour once you optimize your skills. If you're thinking about starting in a restaurant, I'll link a video in the description about how I was able to build wealth waiting tables. You can even start garage sailing or doing retail arbitrage on the side. Seriously, this is an amazing outlet if you know what you're doing and you know what to look for. You can buy things for cheap at secondhand stores or people's homes who don't know what they have and flip it on eBay or somewhere online for a huge profit. It's really easy to set up and with a little bit of research, you can figure out what items are underpriced or undervalued and sell them for a spread. You better be selling so much stuff the kids think they're next. Now keep in mind that these are all short term ways to increase your income, which is great in the short term. But you really want to be asking yourself, what do I really want to be doing in three, five, even 10 years down the road, making six figures or significantly more than I do right now? Ask yourself what your skills are, what you're good at, what do you enjoy doing to figure out how you can add more value and take home a bigger paycheck. Then start researching and applying for better opportunities and jobs while you're doing your short term hustles in the meantime. Step number five to becoming debt free is to actually start paying down your debt using the debt snowball method from Dave Ramsey. This consists of listing your debts from smallest to largest, 
making minimum payments on everything except for the little one, and attacking that small one with everything that you've got left over at the end of the month. Now I've done the math and the research myself, and I understand that this isn't necessarily the absolute fastest way mathematically to pay down your debt. The debt avalanche method would actually be the fastest where you're paying down the highest interest debt first, but the debt snowball method is much more efficient psychologically and emotionally. By paying off the individual smaller debts in the beginning more quickly than you would paying off the higher interest debts first, you emotionally feel like you're winning more quickly and psychologically you'll see the number of debts disappear faster rather than if you had had them organized by their interest rate. Plus, the time difference between these two methods is pretty much negligible and psychologically slash emotionally winning is sometimes more important than winning slightly faster on paper. You basically just run through your debts like this until everything's paid off. The more income you can earn and the less expenses you can have, the faster you can become debt free. You know, you're really broke for someone who makes a lot of money. You kind of have to ask yourself and your spouse or family how far you can really cut down and how much time you really want to spend working to clear all this up. For example, if you want to take a slow and steady pace, you might pay everything off in three years. Or if you just go total balls to the walls, take on two extra jobs, and skip going out to eat altogether, you might be able to realistically clear everything up in a year or 18 months. To me, the second option sounds a little better because I absolutely despise owing other people money, but everyone's situation is a little bit different and you'll have to factor in time with your family and how much free time you have altogether. But again, this is something that you have to decide amongst yourself and your family. Now the last little part about becoming debt free is dealing with debt collectors. Now if you haven't figured it out already or haven't had the absolute honor and pleasure to deal with a lovely debt collector, just know that these people are typically the scum of the earth when it comes to all things financial. They will literally try to figure out where you work and snag a percentage of your paycheck, find your relatives and harass them to give them money, or basically just flat out lie about anything to get you to give them your money. Now at the end of the day, you do still technically owe them money, but typically once something hits collections, debt collectors are more than happy to get 30 or 40 cents on the dollar of the original debt before interest is accrued. So the best way to negotiate with them is to offer to settle the debt in full for roughly this amount. Before you give them any money, tell them to send you a letter or an email in writing that says that this amount will settle the debt in full. If they decline, just tell them that you're gonna give them nothing at all whatsoever and hang up the phone. Sure, this might hurt your credit score a bit if you have something actively sitting in collections, but chances are, if you're trying to get out of debt in the first place, you're not gonna be needing to borrow money anytime soon. They'll probably call back after a certain amount of time, maybe a few months, and you can again state your offer and rinse and repeat the process I told you. I hope this video was able to clear up some things for you and start your journey to becoming debt free. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you've got any other tips that have helped you become debt free, make sure to leave a comment to help other people out as well. Thanks so much for tuning in today, y'all. I appreciate it and we'll see you on the next video.